A seven minute game. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, we're on. Okay. left the game oh come on what do you mean oh, there we go maybe they've got a bad signal okay uh, instantly take that pawn takes knights on the pawn get the knight up maybe mm -mm. so this pawn is gonna go interesting times let's go here and pawn for a pawn knight for a knight knight for a knight Ooh, they do capture. That's a bit of a bad position for them. Let's grab. Oh, they've gone greedy munching. Okay, let's um, grab here. I think that upsets them positionally now. We've got two pieces actually targeting this pawn here. King's a bit airy, got the bishop out, got our bishop out. Let's castle, king safety. So he needs to get the bishop out or something. Oh, he's gone greedy munching. Ooh, that's gonna cost them, I think. That's gonna cost them, because the thing is, like we say, the king is a bit airy. I'll put a check on first. He might go greedy munching for this as well, but in the meantime... Oh, they brought the bishop through. Yeah, I think if they greedy munch for this pawn here, the position is shot. Let's attack, pawns down, queen's going to get elevated to actually put a 2 on one on this bishop here. Okay, let's do that. Improve the position. Four minutes left. Oh, they've greedy munched again. This has got to be it. Let's just put a bit of pressure on this bishop. Open up the queen. Obviously, the pawn is going to drop. Unless, of course, he's just going to give the bishop up. the pawn can't drop because we have a next ray through to the king so in essence we've got a 2 on 1 so that's even better Do, 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 do. It's queens on my rook, so I think probably just taken with the bishop. Got a two on one again on this pawn. So I don't think his rook's going to attack. So we could take, couldn't we? Could take just oh I'm just a bit oh yeah I'm just a bit mindful right we take this bishop takes if the rook takes then we take with the rook I'm just mindful that this rook might get hit let's see how that plan pans out so we take with the bishop three minutes we're on. I don't want to lose this rook. His queen is hanging there. If he does go take, we can take. 
queen's still covering this, but queen is still covering this rook as well. But then if the bishop takes, the queen isn't necessarily then going to go and take, is it? Ooh, I've, I think I've put myself in a bit of a dilemma. Maybe not. Okay, well, the queen's defending the bishop now. And the rook can't, well, can Yeah, I think I'm okay. Yeah, it was just like the chip exchanges. It's greedy munching again for the pawn. Back rank stuff coming on. Bishop. Da, 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 da. Rook's got access here. Could challenge the queen again. I don't think that's a good one though, because he goes and supports. Let's grab a Ouch! I don't know what that. Oh, but the thing is, we can't take because this rook's got a back rank checkmate. Ooh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? That's gonna hurt if we take. This rook takes. Bishop takes. If we bring the bishop back, could defend the rook. Rook takes, to the, although then we're on his rook anyway, for a back ranker. I think I'm going to bring the bishop back. Two minutes, come on now. Don't really want to be in bullet mode here. Oh, he's taken with a check, so I have to. At least we guarded it, didn't we? Obviously, coming to challenge the bishop somehow. He can't really go there because the bishop will take, but he could drop here. But if he drops there, we get a back rank checkmate, don't we? They're thinking long and hard, so they're not going to do that. Probably going to save their rook. Hiding it in the corner. Take her on the queen. So his rook's going to be annoying because it's just going to be protecting this pawn here. Hmm. Okay, it's not as easy as it looks. Fair enough. Gonna have to put a bit of working in bullet time, damn. And there's zero increment as well. Oh, what am I doing to myself? Ah, damn. goes there, we go here attacking the queen, where does the queen go, I don't really know, so that's the next stage thing, I'm, yeah that's about it, I'm going to have to just do that, I was looking for promotion, damn cheek, but his queen is under attack, yeah, <laughs> oh crikey, yeah that was quite entertaining actually, Felt a little bit frantic, but let me just have a quick look at this situation here. This exchange of Ma going on. Yeah, so capturing the knight. It's on our knight. So we can go for the knight. And I thought somewhere along here they, they had a better advantage. So we took here. And then they took again. So at that point, <clears throat> um, 
I think it was probably simpler for them to just take with the Queen, that's what we expected which kind of keeps it balanced out in a sense but once they actually took with the pawn that dishevelled their whole um, position because it allowed us to develop another piece nothing major but I mean it's showing plus one here and our own mental rolodex kind of said that we were winning some type of tempi positionally because the king was airy now he's going for greedy munching with the queen not developing any of the other pieces so that's really what we were hoping for in, a, in those terms and just really looking at the position and taking a pawn and not developing other pieces really is quite crucial but you have to be able to do something about it that's the key thing so putting a check on the king wins us that important tempi and then this bishop really is kind of like kind of trapped I didn't realize until later that you know obviously we've got the x-ray through so the pawn can't drop so if the opponent had put other um, maneuvers in to get rid of our bishop we wouldn't have had that um, power base towards their king and again if they developed their pieces earlier and got castled then maybe they wouldn't have had this problem again so it's really important about castling or getting your king to some sort of safe area that you're comfortable with okay so the greedy munch again for another pawn which allows us to put the 2 on 1 on the, on the bishop uh, which is quite crucial because they're winning kind of a minor piece positionally not looking too bad either so it's like a snowball effect then because obviously the bishop can take and we've got like a two on one with the queen but then i did have a little bit of a flap thinking is the move order going to actually work for us because you can have those situations where you feel like if they capture then you capture but his queen is hovering on this rook here and there's a potential for a back rank checkmate that i would give to the opponent so captured with the queen and then we captured with our rook because our rook here is fairly safe at the moment so there's no no contestation there and then they attack our queen so we bring the bishop back supporting the rook i was thinking of i don't know if this was going to cause too much damage but it did look a little bit complicated for me so i was going to take gauge bar has not dropped very far has it I was going to take and obviously if they take the queen then the bishop would take here they've got a queen on the board wow it's still showing really good for us but my brain went whoa he's got a queen I don't think I can make it work but on paper now looking at this this looks quite good so I would assume that the queen would come and attack the bishop and the rook but then if they did that that would be back rank checkmate interesting game 